So what are we trying to do with this experience? What we'd really like, I guess, is uh, customer loyalty. Although, as uh, one of the American presidents said, if you want loyalty, get a dog. <laughs> and we could all treat our customers like dogs. That is one way you get loyalty. And certainly, some monopoly organisations might do it that way. Okay? Not that they should necessarily, but they might. <laughs> I'm not saying they do. <laughs> um, so how do you engender loyalty? Well, there, there's, there's two really important differences around uh, loyalty. One is about transaction and whether you are continually loyal by your behaviours. Uh, but one is about your attitude. So, for example, I might be uh, very loyal to my local shop because it just happens to be the closest. I might actually hate it. I might think it's badly laid out, it's got terrible customer service and all the rest of it, but I still might use it all the time because it has that one attribute uh, that I do value. But I'm not really loyal and as soon as another shop opened up next door, I might immediately switch. <coughs> Similarly, I might be uh, very loyal and willing to defend because I'm so passionate about it, um, Ferrari. But I might never buy one. And therefore, you know, what's the point to an organisation? If you're engaged emotionally, but you're not engaged in terms of the transaction, whatever that might be. And ideally what you're aiming for is this true loyalty where you've got both of those things occurring. And one of the uh, things that organisations have to recognise is what type of loyalty do they really have, even amongst their loyal customers. Uh, because if it's like the corner shop example, where they're only loyal to you because they're waiting for the next competition to come along, then you very quickly uh, lose those customers.